here we have our keynote speaker for the next session which is session five and this happens to be mr hilal khan cio honda cars india and the topic here is honda car digital crm journey can i have you here sir A dynamic thought leader with 26 years of deep IT experience with strong understanding of automotive business, Honda, Toyota and Deu Motors, an IT consulting industry with specific focus on auto. He is VP and Operating Head Information Technology, Honda Cars India Limited. His expertise is in setting up IT in greenfield projects and capable to lead the IT organization during the growth phase. He's also the recipient of industry awards and honors, including CIO 100, member of Society of Indian Automobile, IT Cell, CIO Club, and CIO Association of India. Welcome, sir, and over to you. Thank you so much. So while every time I'm very much excited to come and you know, speak to you guys, but I am very much scared by this kind of glorified introduction. Um, honestly speaking, I'm here to learn and probably, you know, if we keep this, you know, uh, discussion very interactive, uh, we both will learn in the process. So, Shitij, uh, where is Shitij? Yeah. So, Shitij has uh, set up the context already. On one occasion, he has talked about security, while, you know, Gautam was reacting that, you know, uh, it's, it's the survival and existence issue for him. I thought that he meant a very, very, you know, um, logical thing for the industry. That's about creation of the use cases. And when the creation of the use cases are there, we can probably talk about the real maturity of the technology, right? In second context, he talked about the inventory for the auto dealers and auto OEMs. So, uh, I was sitting and thinking, are we, real, are we guys really, you know, behaving so foolish? Uh, I think yes or no, both. It's, it's a maturity curve and probably my presentation is an answer or is an attempt as to what we are trying to do and how we are trying to, you know, solve this, you know, uh, situation. So, let's start with uh, a small video. I don't know whether it will work or not. I think it's working. Very lucky. Most of the time it's not working. And the reason for me to play this video is not to add anything to your knowledge, but to get the opportunity of using this platform for Honda.
So, fine. Uh, Anuj, very heavy words AI, IoT, blockchain. No, while we will be talking and we since morning we are talking about it, but from the OEM perspective or for the business perspective, we have to understand whether we have to think business first or the technology first and it is of course the business first, technology is just the enabler. And uh, through our di digital CRM journey, we just try to pick various elements of different technologies and we thought about the 360 degree customer journey and see as to how we can you know give better experience to our customer. So, I will be talking about it, but before that now, let me just briefly talk about Honda, who we are, our, our philosophy and mission, Global Business and Honda Cars India Limited. So, we are a very, uh, you know, uh, philosophy or, you know, uh, principle driven company. And as you, as you can see that, uh, as a company principle, we want to maintain a global viewpoint. We are dedicated to supplying products of the highest quality, yet at a reasonable price. I do not know what is that reasonable price. You people might be saying that, you know, what kind of reasonable, uh, reasonable price is this? Uh, and our fundamental belief is uh, respect for individual and the three joys. And when we talk about three joys, the joy of buying, creating and selling, because this is something that talk about, you know, the, uh, the value and the care that we can, you know, deliver to our end customer. I am just you know moving forward. These are the you know uh, product lineup, uh, motorcycle, automobile, power product and Honda Jet. And uh, in 2018, we have sold roughly 31 million, uh, uh, we have added roughly 31 customers to Honda brand. This is how we are present in India. Now going to the main piece that is dig CRM digital transformation. Why we started this? and what was the fundamental belief or fundamental need and objective or the goal when we thought of digital CRM transformation. And you know uh, what we have seen that there is a great shift from the sense of crisis. What we have seen that as an IT or as a integrated part of the business, we are not sufficient to the business need or to the end customer need. And this is how we have to integrate ourselves to the business to drive innovation in the company. And we have seen that the mindset that is there in the organization primarily in IT couple of years back that we are working for a very, very specific task. We are not proactive enough to deal with lot many business you know problems and the dynamics of the industry. So, if you see the past, we were of performing a sign task only, we are acting as an enabler. And the present, we have to challenge to the subject towards the future. And the mission, when we have talked about this program, was to steer towards generating new value and it is all about customer. So, we are talking a lot about customer, let us see how far we are going to actually satisfy our customer and how far we are going to take care of him. So, we have identified three key themes. What are those three themes? One, we have to open the way for customer influence. And what exactly we mean by it, I will be you know uh, talking in um, one of my next slide. So primarily, when we see that voice of customer is coming from various sources. So, voice of customer, voice of social, how it can exert a bigger influence in my decision making in the program that I am running for my customers and customer expectation is rising and the customer tolerance is also decreasing. So, we have to catch these fundamental situation that is happening in the market. And basis this, we have to build deep one to one customer relationship strategically. When we talk about our campaigns, these campaigns are very, very generic in nature, how to have a uh, very specific targeted campaign so that we can take care of our customers not only from the sales perspective, but from the service perspective as well. The second uh, you know identified theme was switch on the ignition to digital physical innovation and here you would see a clear shift. We are not talking digital, we are not talking physical. What we fundamentally believe that digital and physical has to marry 
and it has to marry in a manner that it deliver value to my customer. The intersection between the digital and the physical is leading edge of innovation, right? So, what is happening? If you see the typical customer touch point journey from the time when he is you know uh, in the discovery stage from the awareness to the interest to the consideration of buying a car when he is finally buying a car retention you know on the basis of experience the customer uh, you know product experience or the service experience and the advocacy these are the various touch points. And when we talk about these touch points, it is really important for us to understand as to what value we can bring in the complete 360 degree you know, uh, customer life cycle management. So, the integration of cross channel touch points is on the left side and the analytics to capture customer insight primarily on the right side and this will define as to what exactly needs to be done when we talk about customer relationship management. So, we have to establish a new business model and new digital services altogether. The third thing that we have identified is crafting engaging customer experience. If that experience is not there be it, in, be, in, be it from the product point of view or be it from the service point of view, it is very difficult for me to, to, to retain my customer and to understand that my customer can be an advocate of my brand. So, we have to explore the customer needs ahead of want, customer value shifted from product to experience. So, what I am fundamentally trying to say that what he want is a product, but what he needs is an experience and how we can deliver that experience to our customer. So, we have to dig as to what customer really needs because we are most of the time delivering as to what customer want. So, the mission that we have defined that is steering towards generating new value that is on the basis of you know three uh, themes opening the way for customer influence, switching on the ignition to digital physical innovation and crafting an engaging customer experience. So, how we have taken up this journey? You know many organizations are talking about run growth and transform, but I still remember the uh, 15th of August 2016 if I am not wrong the speech of Prime Minister Honorable Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi wherein he talked about uh, reform, perform and transform. And when I look at my IT journey and when we say run growth and transform this is something which very well you know match to that kind of image. So, when we talk about you know our business and you know enabling this customer relationship journey we first thought of running and what we are doing in the running phase these are maintaining the systems from external and internal factors right. Now, growth when we are improving the quality cost delivery efficiency of the organization we are reforming with the help of BPO whatever revamping many things but what is really important is transforming for the business innovation and this is where exactly we are you know today working. So, our challenge is that how do we speed up and avoid cost increase towards you know uh, the transformation. So, for IT solutions for the digital CRM transformation we have divided into two part uh, Honda is you know connected with the ecosystem of you know uh, my customer experience my suppliers and we are having multiple products. So, for products we have now telematics connected car uh, Shitesh you have lot of you know worries related uh, you know connected cars. Honestly speaking we are also equally worried, but this worry is a very positive sign for us because that worry is actually pressing us to go deep and deep into what can be done in order to take care of you know these kind of security related worries. In the customer experience what kind of solutions can be delivered to my customers in terms of experience the product and the service both. And at Honda level what are the touch points related to service for example, I workshop I am having my you know service advisor solution that is a one stop service I set tablet based solution management dashboard for complete sales service spare parts. Spear it is a sales consultant solution on the basis of mobile uh, my sales lead can be you know uh, very well managed on that e training uh, e learning that is for my complete sales service spare parts and uh, you know horizontal solution 
managing my you know complete sales service and spare part solution with the help of you know um, uh, dealer management solution so the fundamentals for honda the fundamental in terms of product in terms of offering him a connected car solution and a customer experience with a solution like honda connect we have delivered that the blue means that we have already delivered yellow means whatever we are you know uh, developing right now and some we are planning currently the key of success for this kind of digital transformation is one with dual focus because we are an mnc we are having parent child relationship for few things we are managing 100% locally but there are certain you know global initiative we have to align ourselves with that so there is a global initiative in terms of governance standardization leading edge of technology and there is a local initiative that's one to one customer relationship tailor made solution new business model and services so we are trying to you know creating a very integrated view or integrated approach wherein we can you know create a very fine balance between these two so the harmonious operation is there between global and local the second you know uh, uh, key for success is uh, pulling together what do i really mean by pulling together we have to collaborate for more extensively uh, across internal and external so external we are you know working with partners like you we are working with lot of you know uh, technology partners we are working with lot of you know consultants and at the same time it's really important for it as a enabler understanding the dynamics of the industry or the dynamics of the market or the ecosystem how we are creating uh, you know uh, the relationship with the functional heads for, for example from procurement marketing sales uh, you know uh, different areas and if we are working together as a team then probably we are you know speeding up lot many things rather than going and selling it internally we are actually working very very closely as a team the third thing is um, uh, platform evolution so what what do really mean by this that we have to have customer engagement platform to evolve customer uh, touch point management i talked about the 360 degree customer touch point management we also need iot platform for auto to evolve for case uh, case is uh, connected autonomous shared and electric so we have to work not only from the customer view point but what is the you know evolution that is happening in the industry auto industry is going through disruption through case auto industry and it industry both are facing the similar kind of disruption in it also we are talking about ai iot and blockchain and this is the disruption that is happening in the it industry so this disruption if we can marry together probably we can deliver much more you know better results for our customers and the third is enterprise business platform because unless or until you have a very solid enterprise business platform you can't really deliver these kind of solutions to your end customers so how we have actually done it the first is talking about customer touch point management and here we are very conscious that we have to have voice of customer voice of social voice of vehicle voice of data net promotion score and the call center in place because this ecosystem put together from my discovery stage of the customer to the you know experience stage of the customer that will give me lot of you know data and i have to have a data strategy in mind so that i can utilize this data in an effective manner to serve my end customer the second thing is my integrated infrastructure that's my basic platform and here we have you know data center disaster recovery network security operation center things like that and on top of that you are developing an enterprise business platform wherein you are having management dashboard you know supply chain uh, sap your erps and things like that you are having lot of use cases for rpa and things like that and then you are having iot platform for auto wherein we are having both our solutions for connected car on the basis of a uh, on board diagnostic you know device and the tcu plus customer engagement platform in terms of dealer management in terms of marketing automation sales lead sales force automation service lead for example i workshop and i learning etc so this put together gives me a very solid platform to deliver value to my end customer so we are you know creating uh, an ecosystem of the industry specialist and partners who can deliver this value to us so we are constantly creating business use cases and delivering lot of proof of concept 
on the basis of that we can have very speedy production. Now, the method change which is one of the very fundamental key for the success is we are focusing a lot on design thinking. Because if we, if we are not thinking in an innovative manner and if we are carrying lot of baggage and legacy probably we will not be able to deliver the required value to our customers. So, we are organizing lot of design thinking workshop and on the basis of that we know earlier we were thinking that we have to develop a minimum viable product. And for us to deliver a minimum viable product, I am not talking about the you know um, um, bare shell in terms of a car, but in terms of an overall solution for my customer, we thought that minimum viable product in itself is not enough. Because this is uh, injustice to my customer, it should be lovable as well. So, when I say lovable, it should be lovable from the product point of view, it should be lovable from the experience point of view, both the product experience and the service experience. And hence, no, there is a complete paradigm shift when we are talking about the method change, we are you know going for you know lot of design thinking workshop, so that we can deliver a minimum lovable product. So, in order to steer towards generating new value, these are the identified themes that is opening the way for customer influence, switch the ignition to digital physical innovation and crafting engaging customer experience. And for us the key of success is with dual focus, pulling together with best partnership, platform evolution, speed up and cost avoidance and method change that is through design thinking and agile. In the last I would like to you know have a quote from our uh, promoter or you know founder. Mr. Soichiro Honda, instead of being afraid of challenge and failure, be afraid of avoiding the challenge and doing nothing. So, uh, Shitish, while I buy your concern that there is lot of you know issues related to security, but I think we have to take that challenge head on. Thank you very much. Any, any questions for me? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Truly insightful.